Oh, right down to business. <laughs> now, if that ain't a story to tell the grandkids. Of all the pieces of ore out there, you managed to find some the old smith liked? Ha! <laughs> You see, kid, that's a sign. Proof that you're cut above the average hunter. You've got exceptional judgment. After all, why go out there and risk your neck if all you bring back is junk? Yep, I've got a good feeling about you, kid. Wouldn't be surprised if you solved our little earthquake mystery, too. Anyway, hunter, we'll have the base camp up and running before you say jumpin' jaggy. So you just hang tight and... What? You get bored if you have to wait around for the repairs? Ha ha ha! You're more tenacious than a Kelby in heat. Alright, I got an idea. What separates the land monsters you've hunted so far from an aquatic menace like the Legiacris? Gigatons of water, that's what. If you're going to take a sea monster on, you have to literally go get your feet wet. So listen up. Go on through Mugga Woods till you hit the shore. Dive in and try, try hunting some fish. Start small, see. Junior's a real poe when it comes to swimming. I'll have him give you some tips. Head out as soon as you're ready. Hey, it's me, Jin. I mean the chief's son. Listen, I heard about that ore you mined. Not bad. Now then, have a look at your map. See that? The whole Moga Woods is open to you. Good. You need to get out more. Now you can hike straight through the forest all the way to the sea. And that's good because I'd like you to go and hunt one of the mullets that swim around here. A mullet will be good practice for hunting underwater, and I'll wager you could use the practice. Besides, it would make a great gift for that gal in charge of finding your guilt you finding your guild quests. Now then, once you're ready, set out for the sea in area eleven. <clears throat> now, speaking of being ready. Ah, there we go. Delicious, delicious meat. Oh. Speaking of Kelby and Hammers. So. Impact and strike damage are two different types of weapon damage in Monster Hunter. And most weapons do strike damage. Impact damage, meanwhile, is primarily the source of a hammer's weapon damage. And for that use, a hammer is exceptional because if you hit a monster in the head with your hammer, you can possibly inflict impact damage and you'll be set to stun them. Or in that case, you can just freaking hammer time and golf swing them. Okay, well, I don't think I can actually stun Jaggy. Now, the problem with Hammer is to do those charge-up shots, not only does it drain your stamina, but you also have no defense when doing that because that button is aligned is assigned to blocking as well. So the Hammer can do great damage, and is vital for stunning monsters and getting in a few good hits w during peacetime. But. No defense, so you really have to watch your positioning when you're using a hammer. You ready to get your feet wet? Allow me to instruct you in the MOGA art of swimming, just like Mama used to teach. You haven't eaten in the last hour, eh? No matter. Point the camera in the direction you want to swim and then move. Use the camera controls to change your view. Then you'll swim in that direction and there's all there is to it. Dashing, evading, and attacking all work just like when you're on solid ground. Practice controlling the camera and moving around. Before you know it, you'll be swimming like an Epioth. Epioth are these creatures, by the way. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, and when you're underwater, you do have that oxygen meter. Find some bubbles. Swim towards the bubbles and you'll be able to fill up your oxygen meter again in no time. Majestic creatures, aren't they? See that fish with a long, flat body? You can't miss it, right? That's a molid, your quarry for this hunt. Lucky for you, it's not a very fast swimmer. Just get up close and take it down. Center your target with a camera and attack. Remember this one technique and you'll quickly make progress. You can weaken fish with your weapon, but I recommend using a fishing harpoon. Then you can carve materials from them. Right, let the marine warfare begin. Take that fish down. So nice. The sea is a very nice place. Oh yeah, there's one other thing I ought to tell you about when you're swimming. Try not to drown. If you look at the left side of the screen, you'll see a vertical bar. It's your oxygen gauge. If it bottoms out, you won't be able to breathe. That'll make your health gauge de gradually decrease. Fortunately, there are three ways to refill your oxygen gauge before you become bunkmates with the fishes. You can swim to the surface and take a breath, refill at an air supply point, or use an oxygen restoration item. You'll recognize air supply points from the bubbles percolating out of the ocean floor. Once you get used to the camera controls, you should have no trouble finding those life-giving bubbles. Good work, Hunter. You keep this up and you might earn the right to call me Junior someday. So, how do you like hunting underwater? Using the camera to track your target. That's the trick. Just between you and me, the return to village option has now been added to your game menu. Choose this option to zip right back to the Moga village. It sure beats hoofing it. Once you get back to the village, talk to the girl with all the quest info. She's starting to get impatient. Ooh, life crystals are a very good find. If we combine them with... I think wyvern fangs? We can create some life powder. Not incredibly useful I mean it's it's very good but it's true true power shines in multiplayer because life crystals in multiplayer heal you and not just you but your allies too oh what am I doing I can I can do this now Hey, Hunter, you seem to be doing pretty well for yourself, eh? Now you're working for the Hunter's Guild. That ought to heat things up for ya. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd give you a little something. You did bring me all that fine ore, after all. This here's an armor sphere. <coughs> Normally, you can get these treasures from mining. I can use them to upgrade your armor. Go ahead and have a look in the menu. Armor craft, then upgrade armor. Got that? And don't forget to flip through your Hunter's notes for the details. Go on, take it. Hey, uh, good to see you. Guess what? I'm throwing a celebration in honor of the base camp getting fixed. I just got in some killer sets of armor you need. This stuff was top-notch in my virtual combat testing. You'll definitely want to pick up a set. Start saving now. Well, let's see what it is. Ooh, the Hunter's Helm. The Hunter stuff is very good starting equipment. Not so useful when you get in later into the game. But they also cost. It also costs four thousand or five thousand gold for an entire set. So what do I know? 
Nice work that mullet hunting. You take this you take to swimming like you have gills, but don't forget what you learned. You swim in the direction you're facing underwater, and when your oxygen gauge is low, look for air supply points. Keep these three things in mind and you'll never sleep with the fishes. Oh, I nearly forgot. I hear that sweetheart from the sweetheart from the guild has a message for you. Better go see her if you haven't yet. Well, look who's back. How'd the swimming go? Are you one with the fishies now? Heh. <laughs> you know, it's tricky, especially if you're used to hunting on level ground. In the water, you have to maneuver up and down. At least you've got a good set of lungs, kid. Or so I hear. Don't let a little water scare you off. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. The part where I pay you. <clears throat> I had to scrape the bottom of the piggy bank for this one. So it's that's it. From now on, you gotta earn your own keep. And earn our own...